How much longer will you put up with limitations and sky-high prices for image generation? In this video, you'll learn how to create them for free, with no limits, no watermarks, and not even a registration required. In just a few minutes, you'll be generating high-quality, detailed images at a speed of up to 200 per hour, from text or a reference image. At first glance, Raphael AI seems like just another new neural network that has emerged recently amidst the growing interest in generative AI. However, right on the homepage, the service immediately highlights its key advantages. Completely free, powered by the Flux model, no login required, unlimited generations. Impressive, right? Now let's check if it really lives up to the promise. For this, we scroll down and go to the prompt input form. You can click on all these buttons and icons yourself. Try different settings and generate a hundred or more images. But if you don't want to waste time, just keep watching. We've already gone through this and are ready to share our experience. The main part of the prompt panel is occupied by the text input field. To the right above it, there is a button for adding a reference image. We'll discuss it in more detail when testing the generation. Below the text field, there is a row of drop-down menus. The first one is the aspect ratio, where you can choose between square, widescreen, or portrait mode. The rest allow you to set the style, color, lighting, and composition of the image without having to describe it in the text prompt. Just below, there is a toggle that opens the negative prompt field. Here, you can specify what should be excluded from the image. On the right, there is a group of buttons the first one clears the text and resets the settings. The second generates a random text prompt. And the third starts the image generation process. Let's get started. Let's start with a simple text prompt. The description must be entered in English. When creating a prompt, we follow the standard recommendations for working with Flux. Place the key elements at the beginning, write clear sentences in natural language with specific and precise details, and keep it within the 400 word limit. Once the description is ready, we start the generation. After that, a CAPTCHA appears every time. If you're using the free version, you'll have to deal with it. Each generation produces four image variations. The estimated processing time is 20 seconds, but it often stretches to a minute. Let's speed this up a bit. The images are ready. They can be open for viewing and downloading. Now there are two important things to keep in mind. The first is image quality. Initially, they are generated in low resolution. For a general preview, this is more than enough. But if you plan to save an image, it's best to refine it first. To do this, click the Refine button. After another CAPTCHA, within a few seconds, you'll get an upscaled and more detailed version. Before downloading, make sure you've selected the refined version. The second important point. If you like any of the results, be sure to save them immediately. They are only available for a limited time, and even a simple page refresh will erase the generation history. This applies even to registered users. This is one of the drawbacks of Raphael AI. There are a few more, but we'll talk about them a bit later. For now, let's generate a series of images non-stop, experimenting with different prompt settings.
the results turned out to be quite diverse. Now let's try creating something using a reference image to set the style and composition. We upload the image and its preview appears on the left side of the text input field. Below it, there is a slider that allows you to adjust the strength of its influence. Let's leave this setting as it is. We enter the prompt and start the generation. Let's try again. This time, we will increase the reference strength to 40%. And the last thing we need to check is whether the negative prompt works. Flux often has issues with this, so it will be interesting to see how it's implemented in Raphael. We enter both the regular and negative prompts. Launching. Not exactly what we were expecting. Let's try again. It seems this feature doesn't work as intended. That's another downside of this service. Fortunately, the other drawbacks are not too critical. For example, aside from the constant CAPTCHA, ads may occasionally appear. Additionally, sometimes generating prompts that the service deems unacceptable can freeze and take quite a while before an error message appears. However, overall, the service leaves a great impression. The absence of limits and registration requirements, high image quality, fast generation, flexible settings, and the ability to use a reference make it a convenient tool for creating images for various purposes. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new videos. Like the video and leave comments with your questions or ideas for future content.